All right, pro cutters. Later on Sunday here, back at the job. And so when you're using a 12 inch block, you gotta figure out what you're gonna do for corners. So the first thing I started doing was trying to cut a block and I was trying to use my angle grinder. And so every time I went to split the block after cutting it, the damn thing was breaking on me. So that's no good. So then I went on to figuring out. Now, mind you, this is for a 12 inch to an eight inch block corner. So then I'm trying to figure out, okay, well, what can I do? Uh, can I use a partial four inch? And yeah, I could do that. I could do it that way, or I could do it this way with the partial four inch on the inside. That's if your corners are gonna go one direction or I could put the four inch on the outside if the corners are gonna go the other direction. Either way, I really wasn't happy with that. So I remembered, hey man, you got a seven and a quarter inch mason blade. So I put my seven and a quarter inch mason blade in my circular saw. And when I did that, since that blade is much bigger, it cuts deeper. So I was able to go ahead and get the corner cut out of a block without it breaking. So you can see I've got another broken one here. I tried it two times with the angle grinder and broke two blocks. So that's not too bad, you know. This is this is new to me, learning how to do this. So hopefully it helps you all out. I'll be filming more uh, as I go along getting ready to mix up some mud oh so let me uh i bought some new tools let me show you what tools i got and this uh here's a little shout out to mr g 1965 because we're doing this video no edits no cuts straight off the iphone so some tools you might need i got a new s-wing brick saw you're gonna need a mason brush you're gonna need a mason trowel. This is a 12 inch brick trowel. You're gonna need a striking tool for cleaning up your joints. And you're gonna need, if you don't wanna uh, go through the trouble of mixing mortar and sand and yada yada, just go ahead and get you some pro finish blended mason mix type S, that's important. Uh, but this is already all blended for doing block work. So it's good for a beginner. And then you're gonna need levels. I've got a two foot level and a four foot level. Tape measure, all that good stuff. So I've got my block laid out. There's my corner. And then I've got every 16 inches marked there to there. And the first thing I'm gonna do is build my lead. So stay tuned and uh, I'm gonna throw the GoPro up and get some more footage take it easy thanks for watching like comment subscribe have a great day go on and check out mr g 1965 too while you're at it take it easy uh-huh